Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're looking to optimize your gaming PC for the best performance, you've probably come across a setting in your BIOS called Above 4G Decoding. Many users claim that disabling it improves FPS and reduces stuttering, but is that really true? In this video, we'll break down what 4G decoding actually does, when you should disable it, and when you shouldn't. Plus, I'll show you how to change this setting in your BIOS step by step. So, let's get started. What is Above 4G Decoding? Above 4G Decoding, also known as 4G Decoding, is a BIOS feature designed for handling large PCE devices like modern GPUs. It allows the system to allocate memory beyond 4GB for PCIe components, ensuring they function properly without running into resource conflicts. This setting is mostly relevant for users who have multiple GPUs, SLI, Crossfire, or mining rigs. High-end PCIe devices like network adapters, or storage controllers, resizable bar enabled which improves GPU memory access. For most single GPU gaming setups, 4G decoding isn't strictly necessary. And this is where the optimization debate begins. Or so, why disabling above 4G decoding might improve performance. Some users have reported better gaming performance after disabling 4G decoding. Here's why. Improved memory allocation for single GPUs when 4G decoding is enabled, the system reserves a large chunk of memory for PCIe devices, even if you don't have multiple GPUs or high-end expansion cards. Disabling it might reduce unnecessary memory allocation, giving your GPU more direct access to resources. Potential FPS gains and lower input lag. Some users claim disabling 4G decoding reduces input lag and improves FPS stability, especially in games that are sensitive to memory allocation. This isn't guaranteed, but is worth testing. Avoiding compatibility issues. Certain motherboards or older GPUs don't interact well with 4G decoding, causing occasional stutters or performance drops. Disabling it can sometimes resolve these problems. Why you shouldn't disable it. While disabling 4G, decoding might help in some cases. Turning it off can also reduce performance or cause issues depending on your setup. Here's when you should keep it enabled. If you have resizable bar, Rebar. Enabled resizable bar allows the CPU to access the GPU's full VRAM instead of limited chunks. It requires 4G decoding to function, so disabling it will turn off resizable bar, possibly reducing GPU performance. If you have multiple GPUs or high-end PCIe devices, if you're using SLI, Crossfire, or a mining setup, disabling 4G decoding can cause crashes or instability because those GPUs need large address spaces. If your GPU relies on it for memory mapping, some newer GPUs, especially high VRAM models, need 4G decoding for proper memory allocation. Disabling it could lead to weird issues like screen flickering or black screens in certain games. How to disable above 4G? Decoding in BIOS. Now, let's go through the steps to disable above 4G decoding in your BIOS and test if it improves performance. Step one, restart your PC and enter BIOS. Restart your computer and press the BIOS key repeatedly as soon as it starts booting. The BIOS key varies by manufacturer but is usually F2, F12, DL, or ESC. Step 2. Find the above 4G decoding option. Once inside the BIOS, look for Advanced Settings or PCIe Settings. The option is usually labeled Above 4G Decoding or 4G Decoding under the PCIe configuration. Step 3. Disable it. If the setting is enabled, switch it to disabled using the arrow keys or mouse. If it's already disabled, leave it as is. Step 4. Save and exit BIOS press F10 or go to the Exit tab and select Save and Exit. Your PC will restart with the new settings applied. Step 5. Test your games. Now launch your favorite game and check for any performance changes. Monitor FPS, input lag, and overall smoothness to see if disabling 4G decoding made a difference. Final thoughts, should you disable it? At the end of the day, above 4G decoding isn't a magic switch that guarantees better FPS for everyone. It depends on your system. If you have a single GPU and no resizable bar, try disabling it and see if it helps. If you use resizable bar, multiple GPUs, or high-end PCIe devices, keep it enabled. Let me know in the comments if you noticed any difference after disabling it. 
If this video helped, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more PC optimization tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.